Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Soulstorm replay commentary. Today we'll be watching Face to Face Season 5 Round 30, played between HG Maniac and SWS Elijah. The matchup is Necrons vs Space Marines. In this tournament, Elijah is using the alias Starscream, also commonly known as uh, Yukin. Um, quite an inconsistent player, to be honest. Uh, he often plays very well, often plays terribly. He's actually won a few tournaments. Uh, but sometimes he is uh, questionably bad. Okay. Scouts reporting for duty. Opens with four scouts. Barracks. Looks like some kind of scout for us. The first scout has already been reinforced. Maniac goes for a fast uh, turret on this position. A good one. Defends this entrance into the base. And protects this uh, strategic point for capture later. And we have two. Um, generators in the base. And the Scarab goes for. I believe the Scarab wanted to go for a fast capture at this point, but won't be able to do so. The Scarab will now spend the whole game running from the Scout Squad. And we have a fast Necron Lord as well, followed by another Scarab, three Necron Warriors. The Scarab potentially looking for decaps. Well, this will die shortly. I don't think he'll manage to decap anything. Scouts are waiting orders. Hopefully, Elijah knows there's a turret and runs back. Yeah, good. Under fire. Force commander's almost out. Defending objective. I command. Yeah, that's right. The Scarab wouldn't be able to decap this point in time. No reason to suicide the squad. By doing this, is, I suppose he's buying some time, uh, preventing the scout squad from capturing another strategic point. Defending objective. The scout decides the squad. Seems like it's not chasing the scarabs anymore. I wonder why not. Necron Lord is out. We'll go and harass. Needs to be careful though. To needs to avoid the um, force commander as much as possible. Scarf squad here waiting to decap the point, nice. Elijah might as well run from here, save the scouts. This point's going to get decapped anyway. Could have saved this scout. Really. Necron Lord might even kill this squad in range, it's not being reinforced. Yeah, fail. First mistake from Elijah. Scarab should survive. They just need to fall uh, under the turret. Idling here, this sc Scarab's not being reinforced and it isn't building the obelisk. Was this another decap? I think I saw Scarab's capturing the relic earlier. So maybe we have this another decap here. Where's the force commander? Here it is. Beware the alien, the mutant. The Dealing easily with the Necron Warriors. Here to serve. I don't serve at all. No Here reason to, to leave serve. it there. Ah! Looks like the Scarab Squad was killed. Or perhaps Elijah captured this point again. We stand ready. We have a whole squad of Space Marines here. We Here's a second. Ready. Being overwatched. The Emperor protects. Force Commander fighting the Necron Warriors in the heavy cover so he doesn't take too much damage from the turret. Obelisk has been upgraded, good. In one squad of uh, Space Marines being tied up by the Necron Lord. And Elijah is trying to place a turret here. This uh, Gauze turret should focus the Servitor. Might be able to kill it before it finishes the turret. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. 
Well, this ghost turret will go down now. No scarabs around to repair it. Under fire. I await your instructions. Nice. Defending objective. Some nice damage uh, from Elijah here. Now putting some damage on the uh, Necron Lord, but Elijah also needs to be careful. The Necron Lord has lightning field. Defending objective. The third tactical marine squad has now been produced. And Maniac places a turret here. Yeah, this should reach this space marine turret. Has good range, the Necron turret. Failed cast of the lightning field here. Nice cast of the obelisk shot though. Plenty of space marines killed. Only two members left on the squad. The squad might even be killed here. Yeah, hold that whole squad of um, space marines down. Now this turret will fall. Yeah, looking quite bad for Elijah. At least he controls this point now. It looks like the relic was decapped again. Walk softly and carry a big gun. Faith is our shield. The third squad we of space marines had to be reproduced, sword. and we have another squad uh, waiting in the barracks. Defending objective. Uh, but we don't have enough squad of cap. On alert. He needs to go for the squad cap upgrade in the headquarters or delete a squad of scouts. The Emperor. Well, I think from the three. Yeah, okay, he still has all three squads of scouts, that's good. Well, I think he opened with four, right? The Necron Lord killed a scout over here. So three out of four is not bad. This squad not being controlled. Elijah seems to have forgotten about this, maybe being distracted elsewhere. This Necron Warrior squad will also be killed. We don't have the summoning core up yet, can't teleport the squad home. And the Necron Lord is below half HP. Scarab shouldn't be successful in getting another decap here. And uh, the Necrons have now trapped themselves. I believe Maniac's just trying to buy time. Trying to buy time until the uh, summoning core is finished. Then he can save the squad. Summoning calls now finished. Yeah, and there he goes. Okay, yeah, the scout fails to get the decal. Scouts in position. The listening post. Well, I don't even know if it'd be worth placing the listening post here. It'd be destroyed by the snack on warriors. Defending squad. objective. Victory, Victory countdown has, has begun. begun. Nice income on requisition for now for Elijah. Two more listening yes, posts on the way. But Maniac's going tier 2. No signs of tier 2 yet from uh, Elijah. He would probably already be on the way to tier 2 if he didn't have to remake the Space Marine squad. That resources could have been used for faster generators. At your command. Is our Two turrets and an upgraded obelisk here. We stand ready. Can't make an engagement at the moment. Yes, Some bad pathing with this face range. Where's this squad going? Space. Yeah, I reckon Elijah probably just uh, right clicked in this direction somewhere. That's why the squad was trying to run this way. We have another engagement on this side. Still a failed, another failed cast of the lightning field. Only one space ring killed. Hopefully, this squad of Necron Warriors has a uh, teleport recharge. Force commander engaging the Necron Lord here. Will be saved. Has the phase shift. It also saves the scarabs, allowing them to decap the critical location. But of course, this uh, scarab squad will be killed. Oh, 
Now the Necron Lord needs to teleport away. Should be focused. Instead, Elijah focuses the Scarabs. I instructions. Looks like Elijah's yes, not even Lord. trying to kill the Necron Lord. Six until okay, he moves the uh, tactical marines in this direction to try and deal with these Necron Warriors. Okay. This Force Commander needs to be careful, the Necron Lord still has the light field. And now has Filetary. At least Elijah will hit tier 2 soon. He's also built the armory, goes for the plasma pistol, and uh, also places the fifth generator. We have the Wraith uh, upgrade on the way, and uh, Maniacs going tier 2.5. Bad move of the Builder here, this is Dead Servitor, not worth it. Missile launchers being added to the Space Marine squad, or at least this one. Under fire! We have the chaplain on the way, and um, Elijah also goes tier 2.5 with the sacred artifact. We also have frag grenades on the way. He who stands with Quick be float on energy should go for the uh, requisition global upgrade. I don't think he has it. On alert, brothers. The enemy must yes, be my This pocket relic is finally decapped. So we have one squad with two missiles, this squad has a heavy bolter and one missile, and the third squad has two heavy bolters. Okay, nice combination. Yeah, Maniac is forced to teleport home. Necron Warriors stood no chances here. Grey Knights on the way. And we have the inspiring aura research By the Emperor, it shall upgrade. So. The enemy fights back. Gives a damage bonus to infantry All within a certain run. radius the of the force commander. Looks like half the great knights. Again, I forgot to remove this mod, the uh, like in the previous game. Okay, Elijah manages to retake this yes, point. At your command. Maniac's doing a very good job with the Necron Lord, very good harass. Killed plenty of scouts. We are the this might be a failed engagement here from Elijah. Oh yeah, here we go, the cast of the Grey Knight ability. Some kind of error with the mod here. I'll try to remove this mod after this game so we don't have this uh, visual bug the next uh, four games, if Elijah goes for the Grey Knights again. Lots of space rings killed here, just on the approach from the turrets, and now we have the destroyers to deal with. The race are tying up the squad that has the two missile launchers. Good. For some reason, the Necron Lord was being focused there, so all of the missiles hit him instead of the destroyer. Only now, Elijah added the uh, armor. And it looks like Elijah's also added the global upgrade. Good. Also added the power swords, so the squads with the aspiring champions, I mean the sergeants will um, be able to deal with the wraith now. But unfortunately for Elijah it looks like another squad of space marines was killed in this engagement. He went in with three squads, now he only has two. Need to be careful with these turrets. Elijah desperate to make an engagement here. Nice jump here from a uh, maniac. 
slowing down the space marines with the played ones and the destroyers. We have another cast of this um, grain activity. It's actually a really nice uh, mod, it's just for well, this. Uh, it tries to load an image here uh, that you can't find. That's why it's booked. Okay, lots of space marines being killed in here. Very nice to be puffed as well. Elijah adds a rhino. We'll save the space marines. Grey knights might not be too lucky though. And we have a sinker. Very unfortunate. But it happens, they were very common in this um, version of the game. Elijah on the way to tier 3 has a very, I mean, sorry, Maniac on the way to tier 3 has a very good economy, plus 112. My nice base defences as well, we also have the third um, turret here. Uh, hopefully these Necron Warriors have a teleport available though, I don't think they'll survive this engagement. The Grey Knights look like they won't go down. The Tempest and the Space Marine squad will easily deal with the destroyers. There's nothing here to tie them up. And Elijah has a good economy, so not clear at all at this stage in the game who will win this, um, but I'll tell you the result. Uh, Maniac won the first game, so let's move on to the second. Played on Tata Morgan. Okay, I'm back. I uh, removed the Great Knight's ability uh, mod. Okay. So, second game on Fatamorga. Looks like we have Soundbug, unfortunately. The units aren't responding. Happens. I have no idea why the Soundbug happens. It's quite rare. Anyway, Mahalaj open. I mean, Elijah opens with four scouts, two servitors, and barracks. I think this is the same opening as in the previous game. The first scout squad being reinforced with one member. Oh, and the second one as well. Okay. Maniac opening with four generators, two Necron warriors, only three Scarab squads for now. And here are the scouts, but not too much of a threat, the first Necron Warrior squad will be out now. The problem though is depending on both sides of course. And this Necron Warrior squad will take some time before it comes out of the um, monolith. So a bit of a problem for Maniac for now. The scouts won't be able to kill too much, but they're very distracting. Elijah now adds the Force Commander as well. In fact, I think he managed to kill an entire... Oh no, okay, I thought he'd killed a Scarab squad, but he hasn't. Uh, there's a squad here with only... No, okay. He just managed to damage Scarabs. I don't think he killed a single one. But now with the second warrior squad, um, these scouts will have to go back, go elsewhere, capture the map. Force Commander's already out, um, and the first squad of Space Marines is, are now out. I don't know if this um, sound error is just in the replay or if it's in the actual game. I can't imagine it's in the game. If it was, I'm sure they'd just do a rematch. Force Commander shouldn't fight two squads of Necron Warriors. This is a bad, bad move from Elijah. Simply one squad needs to run whilst the other one shoots. So the force commander is dealing almost no damage whilst taking a lot of damage, whilst receiving a lot of damage. 
but things will be easier once the Space Marines arrive. Idling Builders here. Second squad is now out. But here we have the Necron Lord. This whole this Space Marine squad will spend uh, the whole time running from the Lord now. But still some nice damage. A couple of Necron Warriors killed here. One member here on very low HP. Nice decap here with the Scarabs. Yeah, we'll get this decap off and this squad may even survive. Nice. The problem with this uh, overwatching the Space Marines, what Elijah's doing is he can't afford the listening posts. What you should really do is cancel the reinforce, build the listening post and then start it again. Looks like Maniac will go for Necron Warrior Mass this time. We already have the 3rd and 4th squad being ordered and um, the Necron Warrior upgrade is almost complete. But plenty of Necron Warriors dying in here. Nice cast of this obelisk ability. Nice decap in here with the scouts, good job. Uncontested here. This Necron Warrior squad not being controlled. Force Commander getting quite low. The Necron Lord could try and finish the Force Commander off. Well, not necessarily. These two squads can also finish the Force Commander off. Gets attached to the Space Marine squad, but he's still being focused. Might survive for now. No, he stops running. This squad's not being controlled. Yeah, dead Force Commander. Already looking bad for Elijah. Forgot about this relic as well, didn't place a listening post. Allows the Scarabs to decap him. We have a Wraith on the way, the Wraith will deal with the Scouts. Cut not too easily over here, the un un upgraded Wraith will stand uh, against the Space Marines, even if these are unupgraded Space Marines. Servitor is also not being controlled. Pathing each other. Until taken hold victory. And uh, Elijah's um, income, his eco is quite bad for the 6th minute, almost the 7th, and he only has plus 80. We'll drop even further, he may lose this point. Maniac's economy is much better. Plus 80 power, but um, Necron's economy scales differently. The other players, uh, other races need a higher number to keep up. And the Necron Warriors are cheaper to reinforce, only 30, 35 power, whilst the Tactical Marines are 50 in requisition. Yeah, plenty of Space Marines being killed here. And uh, Elijah's economy continues to decrease. He lost this critical location. This looks like a game over. A maniac victory. We also have the flayed ones now. Necron Lord flayed ones and three squads of Necron Warriors. And Maniac also places turrets to cause some puffing to slow the retreat of the Space Marines.
this space room, two space room squads not being very well controlled. You need to keep the distance from the Necron Warriors. Here we have the Wraith here hunting the scouts. Yeah, it deals with the scouts easily. On a previous video, um, I recorded, in fact, I think it was a previous round of Face to Face Season 5. Uh, one player asked why you don't make, Necron players don't make the Wraith in the first place to counter the scouts, uh, to counter a scout um, harass, like on Blood River. And the reason is, to do that, you'd have to place the summoning core in the first place, uh, which takes some time. The scouts could easily get in here and, dis and um, kill the scarabs before this building is placed, especially on Blood River. And this also severely delays your economy. And um, the game in reference was on uh, between Maniac and Mahalaj uh, on Blood River, and I think Mahalaj actually <laughs> rushed with four squads of scouts fully reinforced. I wouldn't even be surprised if the four scouts could kill a um, Wraith. But anyway. So, uh, an easy victory for Maniac this time. He takes the lead, well, continues the lead, he now, he's now leading uh, with a score of 2-0. Let's move on to the third game, Play, played on Tranquility's End. Maniac opening with Four Scarabs, two Necron Warriors. This map is considered one of the best ones for Necrons. Uh, two points, very close to the base. Um, easy to secure a relic on this map. So Necrons can just camp for the monolith. Uh, but of course to do this you also need to do some harass, otherwise the opponent with uh, the more map control can um, basically reached here for before you. But it's possible on other maps Necrons can struggle to take a relic. Uh, another reason why this map is considered good, the bases are quite far apart so you know a, a, a tier 1 rush isn't as big a threat on this map. Also there's lots of negative cover. Uh, Necrons is the only faction in the game that don't um, receive the negative effect of uh, being in negative cover. So yeah, nice map for Necrons. Scouts, still a pain though. Very highly, uh, highly mobile units. Probably one of the fastest units in the game. Uh, Non-jump units, I mean. Still a good harass, already once one of the scarabs, the scarabs killed. Like Necron Warriors can only deal with one squad of scouts. The Scarab squad may be killed. Could be finished off by this scout squad. No. I think uh, Elijah could have killed this squad. Maybe more difficult now that it's been reinforced. decides to cancel this generator and place it here instead. And the second Necron Warrior squad gets out now, so uh, Elijah needs to retreat. Not too bad of a, a harass, he kept both squads of scouts alive and killed a squad of scarabs. Maniac now places the sixth generator and goes for the summoning call. And here is the Force Commander. I assume, yeah, Elijah went for the same opening as in the previous games. Four scouts, two servitors, and barracks. And a fast Force Commander. The, the problem is, Force Commander can't deal with two squads of uh, Necron Warriors alone. Uh, Maniac can simply kite with one squad whilst shooting with the other. The we have the Necron Lord on the way. 
followed by Anubis Scarab and three Necromorias. I I think we're gonna have another Necromoria mass here. Yeah, it goes for the Necromoria upgrade. The Emperor protects. This Necromoria squad not being very well controlled. And now we have the Necron Lord. Praise the Emperor. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Nice map control from Elijah though, he controls both of uh, Maniac's points, as well as all of his own. Just needs to take the relic now. What is your order? Here to serve. Necron Lord, Veen used here to hunt to for the servitors. Fortunately Elijah didn't place a listening post here. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. Maniac now going for the seventh generator. Third Necron Warrior squad will be out soon. Nice uh, Necron Lord Harassi so can kill this scout squad in range stance now. Space Marines being a big pain in here. Need to be careful though, need to keep their distance from the uh, Necron Warriors for now until he uh, masters enough tactical Marines and then he can go in. Under fire. Here's the third squad of Space Marines. On alert, brothers, the enemy must be nearby. Heresy grows. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Scouts looking to harass. Needs to go back though. Scouts here. Okay, the obelisk shot didn't deal as much damage as I thought. Scouts it would. awaiting orders. Defending the objective has begun. Scouts here. Yes, Lord. The Psycho Squad of Scouts was killed. I'm, I'm pretty confident that you can do four. Now we only have three. The Emperor. Both sides have a pretty strong army. I'm not sure whose is better, stronger. Um, Negative's arm, uh, I mean Maniac's army is now stronger with the Flayed Ones and will be even better with the Fibden Archive but I'm not sure, I think 3 raw Space Marine squads will probably beat 3 Necron Warrior squads if microed uh, correctly Nice deployment of Flayed Ones, tries to block this exit out of the Necron base and we have Chroma Metron, nice cast Six minutes until taking Whilst the space marines being killed in here, force commander very low on HP. <laughs> yeah, a whole squad of space marines killed in here on force commander and a. Uh, Three members lost on this squad. Under fire. Squad morale restored. Yes, my lord. Me, uh, uh, sorry, Elijah remakes the space marine squad that he lost, and also Scouts adds the ready. scout snipers. Scouts ready. Scouts ready. Well, I don't know. This already looks like a maniac victory. At your command. Yes, my lord. Snipers are, are actually pretty good against the Necron Warriors, but the problem is the Necron Lord. The Necron Lord still will still hunt for the scouts, and the snipers don't really affect him too much. Not unless you have enough of them to drop his morale. Space Ring squad not being controlled here. Lots of members lost, and another cast of Chrome Metron. This might be a dead squad. And we have some turret pathing. And uh, played one pathing now. Yeah, another whole squad of Space Marines down. Nice engagements from the Hollage. I mean, I keep getting the players' names mixed up. I watched too many replays recently. I meant to say it's made nice engagements from uh, Maniac. Nice damage from behind though, two squads of scouts with snipers and a squad of space marines. Two squads of space marines here should be able to deal with the blade ones. 
have a Scarab here, hoping to decap this point. Yeah, if played one's going down on this side, need to teleport back to the monolith. Hopefully, I think Maniac's forgotten about this squad. Or perhaps they just didn't have a um, teleport recharged. Defending objective countdown has begun. Elisha placing a turret here. Scouts Desperately wants to take this point. Yes, my lord. Under fire. Nice, another cast, uh, nice cast of the Chroma Metron. Nice job from the scouts from behind, dropping the morale and killing a few Necron Warriors. But a whole squad of Space Marine squads could be killed here, only one member left. Yeah. We stand ready. Scouts in position. Yes, Lord. Scouts not being controlled. Big fail. Well, it looks like Maniac didn't know his either. He could have just stopped the Necron Warriors and killed both of these squads here. We have Solar Pulse now from the Necron Lord. And it looks like the Scarab squad that I thought was coming to decap this point actually wanted to build a neck bear turret in Space Marine space. It wasn't successful though. A uh, bad micro of this tactical marine squad. But Maniac doesn't take uh, advantage of that. Maniac hits tier 2. No signs of tier 2 from um, Elijah. And now Elijah loses the barracks. I'm sure he's about to quit. We're towards the end of the game now. Yes, my lord. Very nice usage of this Necromoria mass and the Necron Lord uh, Chroma Metron ability. Yeah, so um, Maniac wins this best of five. He's currently leading with a score of 3 0. Good job. So, um, I'll talk a bit more about the tournament as we load the fourth game. Um, for this season of Face to Face, Season 5, um, to win. The tournament ends once one player has won seven rounds, and this is um, Maniac's eighth round. Uh, before this game, he was sitting on six victories and one loss. Uh, so basically, this is the last round of the tournament. Uh, Maniac has now won his seven rounds. Uh, HG ABTC, the orc player that we saw in the first few rounds, uh, he came in second place with five victories. And the Duke Fleet, um, the Imperial Guard player, we've seen a few rounds recently from him, uh, he came in third place with four victories. Um, if you want more details about the tournament, I'll place. Well, I'll um, provide a link to the tournament forum in the description of this video. Uh, but it, well, it is in Russian, so. You'll have to use a translator if you don't speak that language. Okay. So we have the fourth game between yes, Elijah and Maniac point. played on Battle Marshes. Yes, it depends with only ready. three scouts scouts this time. It goes for a uh, fast squad of Space Marines this time as well. In the previous games he went for the Force Commander first. Scouts awaiting orders. Maniac opened with three squads of scarabs, places five generators, and we have fast um, necron warriors as well. I assume he expected to be scout rushed again. Now places the sixth generator. I await your instructions. In fact, we only have two squads of scouts. Scouts awaiting orders. Yeah. Defending objective. Yes, my lord. So we have uh, a fast harass of the tactical marines instead. But two squads of Necron Warriors should be able to fight them back, and we now have the Necron Lord on the way. I don't think the uh, Space Marines would be able to do much damage here. Yeah, can't even kill a Scarab. At 
least Elijah tries something different, uh, tries a different method this time. After the 6th generator, Maniac goes for the summoning call, uh, standard Necron play. The second attack to the Rune Squad is out, both squads have been fully reinforced. So it looks like we'll have another attack, tier 1 attack spam from Elijah. Yes, my lord. Might be able to kill a number of Necron Warriors here. Uh, the summoning core hasn't been finished yet, so they can't teleport away. Only two members left on the squad now. Yeah, this is a dead squad of Necron Warriors. Good job from Elijah. Good start. Hasn't really lost anything, but killed a whole squad of Necron Warriors. It's a good achievement for the early game. And now we'll be able to put some nice damage on the, uh, Necron Lord. Changes his focus with the Tactical Marines to the, uh, Necron Warriors. And notice that these Space Marines are being kept in the heavy cover, uh, in the light cover here. Yeah, good. Uh, Maniac realizes he doesn't have enough to defend against this attack. He's already lost too many Necron Warriors, so he places two turrets. We have the Servitor on this side. I don't know if this was a misclick or if he was just scouting this point to see if um, Maniac had built the listing post. Maybe he was checking if this post hadn't been built. Maybe. Um, he would have followed a squad of scouts to decap the point. Another squad of... I can't believe he didn't finish that Necron Warrior squad off. Big fail, big mistake here. Could have finished his squad off. There was only one member with very little HP. Well, at least the turret will go down. Hopefully. Unclear. <laughs> Unclear whether this turret's going to survive or not. Um, we have the third tactical race squad on the way. Elijah's economy is it's okay, not fantastic though. Plus 74. We'll improve once this listening post is finished. Scouts um, ready. This relic will probably be decapped. Let's have a look at Maniac. Plus 70. It's okay, economy not fantastic either. The problem for Maniac here is the Necron Lord, below half HP. So many dead Necron Warriors. We have the Necron Warrior upgrade on the way, but these two squads might be dead by then. So, uh, I think it's unclear at this stage who's going to win this game. Um, well, I'll tell you the result. Uh, Maniac wins again. So he's now leading with a score of 4-0. Let's move on to the fifth game. Fifth and final game of the tournament. Uh, well, fifth and final game of this best of five, the final game of the tournament. Uh, played on Fallen City. It's interesting to note as well that um, in this tournament, the so plenty of players signed up, uh, but the. The members of the forum voted for the players that they wanted to see play. So there are plenty of players that signed up and didn't get to play a single game. Um, so I'll list off some of these players. So there was Lamu, uh, a good Space Marine player. Void, uh, a pretty good Dark Eldar player. Um, there was Pockets, who was, an, who was a pretty good IG player back in the day. We have Astro Hero. Um, I'm assuming most of you know who he is, um, a Necron player, quite popular on YouTube. Uh, he didn't get to play any games. Uh, we have Zorg, a very good Eldar player, a very good Eldar and uh, Space Marine player. Uh, we have Ron Racis, another Eldar player that we've seen a couple times on this channel. Uh, and a number of others, all signed up for the tournament but didn't get to play. Um, they might have been able to play in the later rounds if uh, Maniac didn't win so quickly. Some face-to-face -face tournaments have like 60 rounds, where others have fewer than 20. Okay, anyway, back to this game. Looks like the same opening from Maniac as in the previous uh, 
few games. Three Scarabs, five Generators, two Necron Lords, uh, two Necron Warriors, I mean. Oh no, this is slightly different. He went for a, uh, it looks like the first Scarab squad uh, went for a fast turret here. Good placement, defends both these strategic points for capture later. So we opened with four Scarabs this time. So the Necron Blood, the Warriors got out slightly slower. This will probably, might even delay the um, production of the Necron Lord because the turret's quite expensive. On the other side, Elijah opens with four scouts, like in the first three games. Uh, four scouts, barracks, two uh, servitors, and force commander. For the objective. Force commander won't be able to do much here. You can try to destroy the turret, but the turret will be constantly repaired by the scarabs. Scouts ready. Looks like a failed scarab, uh, scout harass anyway. Yeah, all four squads of scarabs are still there. They didn't manage to kill a squad. Although this one's not being controlled. The scouts aren't being controlled either. The scarab should survive. Force commander trying to destroy the turret. Whilst the scouts are trying to kill the scarabs, the turret focuses the scouts. Maniac needs to get in here with another squad of Scarabs, try save the turret. Plenty of scouts being killed here. Two dead scouts. Maybe even three dead scouts here. And another one here. The turret will be saved by this squad of Scarabs, good. And this upgraded obelisk might even be able to kill this uh, scout. Yeah, already a bad start. Very bad start for Elijah. So many dead uh, scouts, they haven't really achieved anything. Only killed one squad of scarabs here. Maniac isn't even controlling the scarab, he needs to be building this listening post. The tactical marines arrive. They run straight into the Necron warriors, they're not being controlled. Bit of a fail. I assume the rally point must have been set maybe over here. Force Commander already blew half HP, the Necron Lord can easily finish him off. Decides to tie up a squad of Space Marines instead. We have two more squads of Necron Warriors on the way. Uh, no summoning call yet. Uh, due to Maniac forgetting about the squad of Scarabs, this point was easily decapped. Not a problem, Maniac can take this point anytime he chooses, whenever he has idling scarabs. Two tactical marines here being puffed by the Necron warriors. We have the Forbidden Archive, I don't think we have any uh, upgrades yet though. Force Commander not being controlled here, might even go down. We have the third Necron Warrior squad out. Plenty of dead Space Marines here. We also have the six generators just been finished. Force Commander might not survive this. It's being focused now by all three squads. Yeah, it goes down, fail. A very bad start for Elijah. Traded so many scouts, force commander, um, quite a few tactical marines, and all he's killed is what, three or four Necron warriors and one squad of scouts. I mean, one squad of scarabs. Nice cast of the Chroma Metron, Elijah doesn't even bother retreating. We're towards, we have a stink area, but there's what, maybe 30 seconds left of this replay. Elijah's economy, not very good for the 6th minute. Yes, um, most beneficent one. At least he took all of his points and took his... Um, he'll soon own two critical location, also controls his relic, but the problem is he lost so much. This is a dead... yeah, it's a dead squad of scouts here as well. Clearly a maniac victory. 
So he, he wins the final round of the tournament with a score of um, five nil. Uh, a nice way to end the tournament for him. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this series. Um, I've placed all of the Season 5 replays into a single playlist, so if you um, have missed any of the last rounds or want to rewatch them, you can find them there. I'll post a link to the playlist in the description. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.